Okay, you guys, this is part two um, to the Virgo reading. Go back to part one. The video says you are worthy, okay? So I believe I left off at you nurturing your inner childhood wound. And when it comes to a father figure, I feel like, for some odd reason, it's like I, I feel like you could have been in a household where it was quite abusive, okay? Um, emotionally mentally physically you may have seen abuse between your father and your mother or you may have experienced it directly and it's like the more and more you try to receive the love it just got more chaotic okay and tell me Yep, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's almost like this feeling that whatever could have happened, it ended up with a broken home. Conflict, domestic disputes. Um, you didn't get to see a home that was stable or, you know, that foundation where... You know, your parents grow old together, the grandkids, things like that. Okay, I got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse position. I feel like the, you even may have repeated the same pattern that your mother may have um, done. Okay, um, as well. That's not for all of y'all here. That That's very specific. So, you may have gotten married, tried to, you know, recreate this family and... It ended up in divorce, okay? Some of you could have had a feminine energy in your life who was just flat out um, revengeful. The Queen of Wands in reverse, they just wasn't happy, okay? The Sun card comes out. And again, you're supposed to enjoy your childhood, right? You're supposed to be able to go out and have fun and, and be positive and you know just have be full of hope and you didn't get the chance to experience that four cups comes out so i feel like you may have spent a lot of your time always contemplating okay always feeling disconnected um always focusing on you know, what to do, um, what happened, you know, things like that. It's like you never were able to really experience your childhood and receive the love because of what you've actually experienced. It's like, um, and what I'm hearing is almost like abandonment, okay? So you could suffer from abandonment issues, and usually we get those abandonment wounds from not being nurtured properly as a child. Our emotions not being tended to properly. Um, I feel like you may have spent a lot of time trying to figure out how you could please people. You may have also been trying to figure out why you weren't enough. Feel like you could have met someone later on that may have shown you a new way and I feel like this is what started your journey of um you um, you trying to shift your perspective or you trying to balance yourself okay so somebody may have come into your life that actually changed your life in some kind of way they may have pushed you more into your spiritual side as well as what I'm hearing um, the King of Wands comes out, the Temperance card comes out, and the Hangman comes out, okay? So I feel like um, it's been a lot that you have been going through. And what you've been hoping for, um, when it doesn't happen, what you've been praying for, you know, if it doesn't happen, it almost pushes you back into that childlike energy when you went through those periods of your life 
when you didn't feel worthy, okay? It, it, it just triggers you and it brings you back to those moments. I don't even think you realize what it does. Like you may get very emotionally um, unbalanced, okay? You may find yourself crying a lot. You may not, can't stop crying. You may cry in, in places you shouldn't be crying, you know? So, <clears throat> yep, the wheel of fortune in the reverse. So when things actually start to go bad, you may look at it as a reflection of what you didn't do, okay? That wasn't enough, okay? So, tell me about the strategy. So, Virgo, you are worthy. So, the strategy for you right now is to pour back into you. Queen of Cups. Somebody may also be trying to strategize how they can bring the harmony and the balance back between you and their, and their connection, too, as well. I keep seeing the Two of Cups. Judgment comes out. This is definitely a wake up. This is a, a period of awakening for you, okay? Um, and I'm also hearing for someone else in your life. So just take the time to self-reflect and don't lose hope. The star card comes out. Try to have faith, right? Because everything happens for a reason, right? The universe always has a divine plan. Um, even though we may not understand that plan at the moment, it can be, you know, very hurtful. You can also be like, you know, well, damn, you had to show me like this, right? It had to hurt this bad, right? But... Um, these are some of the things like we won't face unless it's something that brings that trigger about. So, anything else? I feel like that's something you have to master. Rebirth. Personal freedom unleashed. Okay, so you're going through a rebirth. Let me see something. Oh, here we go. So, page 49. All right, so it's saying the rebirth phase of the ascension journey can be extremely painful as you are stripped of personal habits, core beliefs, and karmic patterns. This process is referred to as the shaman's death, the death of your old self. Just like the phoenix, you will rise up out of the ashes and step into your new identity, becoming the person you were meant to be. Letting go of control will unleash personal freedom. Trust that your heart is leading you in a direction of your destiny. Be gentle with yourself. You are being reborn into someone new. Believe in your newly discovered abilities and affirm that everything you need to fly forward is inside of you. When the rebirth card shows up, it suggests that you use this painful period to help others. Doing so will assist you to step out of your own circumstances and awaken your inner flame. This will ignite your soul with passion, making your journey a beautiful experience as you see the gift in your painful quest. Okay, you're going through a rebirth, Virgo. We all are. I am a Virgo myself, y'all. Y'all know my birthday is 9-9. Nine, nine, so trust me, I'm experiencing what you are experiencing right now. Okay, so we in this together and we are also in this to win this. Okay, so we're going through a rebirth. All right, I, I look, I can attest. I wanted to throw in the towel. I was ready to give up and quit. Um, I start questioning, like, should I be doing this? Da, 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 da. You know how we do, okay? Um, but hang in there. I'm going to try to hang in there. I'm going to pray for you. You guys pray for me. All right, peace.